th- this future pound for pound star, Sam Goodman is what we're going to call him. Th- th- this guy not only has aspirations to be on the pound for pound list, he has aspirations to beat Nia anyway, and he has even elected to employ the services of a former world champion. I'm the best ever. And a, a up and coming prospect who we think has the tools to be Nia anyway. Oh! Oh! oh but unfortunately, he gonna need more than that for the monster. <laughs> he gonna need Jesus. If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm most. But if I tell you I'm no good, no one <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PG and GM. Praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see it? You see it? Yeah. You see we in the trees? You think I'm joking? Yeah, man. We in the mango trees right now, man. You know what I'm talking about? We ain't no Jafakan. We are real Jamaican. You know what I'm talking about? So we are here in the trees right now. I'm chilling. You know, I don't know how I'm going to get down this thing. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I might put that on the blooper reel. But anyway, man, so we have some news coming from uh, Sam Goodman. You know, the Sam Goodman camp, man. He said, hey, he's taking this fight very seriously. He's already made some sacrifices for a showdown with the monster. Now you're anyway on December 24th. You know, good Lord willing, at the end of this year on Christmas Eve. He said, man, he's pulling out all the stops. He said, apparently, he was supposed to be on the uh, October card, uh, uh, which features um, the headline of Bakra Murtazalia versus Tim Zhu for the uh, IBF championship at 154. You know, but he said, nah, man, I'm going to sacrifice that money. I'm going to sacrifice that exposure. And I'm, I'm going to prepare, you know, intensely and intently, you know, uh, um, for, for, for now you're anyway in December, which I salute him for that, man, because that takes a lot of sacrifice. I'm sure you can use extra money and can, can we all, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and that would build his brand, you know, um, um, in the U S you know, him being from Australia. So that helped build his brand. So he's making a lot of sacrifices, but it lets me know that the undefeated fighter is not just going to mail it in, right? He's growing within what he really has on his mind with the full intention to beat now anyway. And I love that man. And to even further that point, man, um, this champion or this 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 uh this future pound for pound star and Sam Goodman is what we gonna call him. This guy not only has aspirations to be on the pound for pound list, he has aspirations to beat Nia anyway, and he has even elected to employ the services of a former world champion and a, a up and coming prospect who we think has the tools to beat Nia anyway. But unfortunately, he gonna need more than that for the monster. <laughs> he gonna need Jesus. <laughs> But all jokes aside, man, uh, don't we all? We all need Jesus, you know. But all jokes aside, man, looking at Sam Goodman's last fight and looking at Naya Inouye's historic run, you know, it would seem that he is going to need, you know, more than preparation, more than the help from Sean Porter, who's a former world champion, more than the help for the young up-and-coming prospect of Bruce Shushu Carrington, who everybody wants to see that show down at Featherweight between him and Naya Inouye in the future. He's going to need more than that, man. You know what I'm saying? He's going to need some divine intervention. But um, I, I love I love this sign. I love this showing me that he's, he's really prepared to, to do whatever it takes. And that's what it's going to take to beat the monster, you know. Do I think he's going to beat him? No, I don't. But, I mean, it's like Terrence Crawford, right? It's like Alexander Usyk. You don't believe that anybody's going to beat him until they get beat, right? So I think that Sam Goodman's on the right track. I, lo- I love I love hearing this. Do, will Sean Porter add some um, some tips to him and add some uh, other facets to his game that may have been overlooked or or maybe add another strategy that he could implement that may be successful? Yeah, of course. You know, so it will never hurt to, see, to seek outside sources from what you normally do, you know, whether you're successful or not. And will Bruce Shushu Carrington, you know, uh, the fire that we see in him, will he be enough to... Um, uh, make uh, Sam Goodman tap into another uh, 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 another uh, level, you know, that he has within himself, you know what I'm saying? Uh, unlock his hidden potential. Allow me to awaken this power for you. I've already trained myself to my limits. I don't have any sleeping powers. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, I'm sure it will. But was it, is it going to be enough? Like I said, I don't know what's enough to beat Naya anyway. Nobody does. He's undefeated. And he went through two two divisions at Undisputed. You know what I'm saying? So he has a tall task ahead of him. But I do love that he's training with intensity. He's ta- he's training with purpose. And he has the intent to actually dethrone the monster. That's what it's going to take, man. He's going to have to be the monster slayer. You know what I'm saying? Now, can he pull it off? We, it, it's, yet to be, it's yet to be seen, you know. But I think he can, though. I think, I th- well, I take that back. I don't think he can. But <laughs> I'm interested in seeing him try. You know, I'm, I'm very intrigued. Like the fight against TJ Doheny, I had, I had no, 
I, I had very little interest and intrigue. In it. Well, I always have interest because I love boxing, but I was I was I wasn't really intrigued by this fight. I thought that fight was a terrible fight. You know what I'm saying? But but big salute to TJ Doheny for going in and trying while it lasted until his back gave out or his leg gave out or his hip gave out. Something he turned into he instantaneously turned into a geriatric. I ain't never seen it before in my life. Oh, I'm hurt. Oh, my neck, my back, my neck and my back. But uh, <laughs> but yeah, you know, I didn't have any faith that he could beat him, um, and so I wasn't really. I thought from a from a competitive standpoint that the TJ Doheny fight wasn't good. But Sam Goodman, I lacked a little bit of faith. But now I'm a little more confident, man. I, I, I like hearing these things. I'm confident that he'll make it interesting. I'm not confident that he'll win. But yeah, I like what I'm hearing out of Sam Goodman, though, man. So let me know what y'all think about it. Are y'all are y'all a little bit more excited for this fight? You know, the only person I'm really excited for now, anyway, to fight at at 122 Super Bantamweight is MJ Akhmadali, which I think that Naya anyway would beat MJ as well. But I think he's the most formidable opponent at that weight division, you know, for Naya anyway. But now hearing this, I'm like, okay, bet Sam Goodman is really coming with it, man. He's coming with the intention to dethrone the monster, to slay the monster, to finish the monster. Bye. It's going to be a tall task. We'll see if he can do it, man. But I like what I'm hearing that he's taking, he's going the extra lengths. He's he, he's making the extra stops. He's um going the extra mile, you know, to ensure the victory or give himself the best chance of winning. That's all we can ask for, man, for these fighters to do their best, try their best, and believe in themselves. And that way we can believe in them as well. But y'all let me know what y'all think about that. Don't forget to like the video. But most importantly, remember, with God, we can do anything without God, we're nothing. The doctor's out. Peace. Hey, throw some prayers up for me. Hopefully I get out this tree safely. I might, I might end up injured with my neck and my back like TJ Doheny. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.